When you are doing your nail trim, you want to gently pull back the fur to expose the nail. Now, if you look at the nail underneath here, you can see that it looks a little bit hollow as the nail starts to grow. That tells us that they might need a nail trim. And what we're going to be careful to look for is the corium. So that's going to be where the collection of blood vessels and nerves are that we want to avoid cutting. This can be very painful. You'll notice that this patient here has two different colored nails. One is more black colored and this one is light colored and it's much easier to see the quick you can see this pink sort of area that ends right about here that's going to be the corium so it's much easier to see when you're doing your nail trim whereas with this black nail it is going to be more difficult so you're going to use extra care and caution when you're doing the nail trim you want to take off little bits at a time, millimeter to two millimeters, to ensure that you don't go too far and cut that corium, also known as the quick. It is quite painful for the patient, and as I mentioned earlier, it can cause bleeding. So I'm putting gentle pressure on the bottom of this pad to extend that out, a little bit of pressure with my index finger up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sliver on the tip here. You can see how that is a very thin piece of the nail. You want to remove pieces like that each time. Now that I've done that little bit of the tip, I'm actually going to go on either side of the nail, so on an angle to remove those bits of nail. So that way I'm going on the left side of the, the nail, the right side of the nail, and then on top to remove. So you do each little bit at a time in order to do your safe nail trim. Now if you're getting closer to the corium, it will start to look woody and sort of fleshy and you want to stop before you get before you hit it so I could go a little bit further I can see that right here there's a little sort of crescent shape there I could probably go a little bit further for this patient, but I don't want to risk uh, causing them any pain and hitting that corium or quick. So I'm going to stop here and then I would move on to the other nails as previously described.